Hi everybody, Bill here, and welcome to Rankin Bass Vlog number two. Today's special is going to be Cricket on the Hearth, which is was their second Rankin Bass's second special after the success of Rudolph three years prior. So they just thought, hey, let's keep cranking them out. Okay, so this is actually based on a Charles Dickens novella. No, not that one. I know you wouldn't think of Christmas Carol, but nope, not that one. Um, this was based on a Charles Dickens novel of the same name. Um, it tells the story of Cricket Crockett, who is a cricket in England who decides to live with a family called the Plumbers, because there's a superstition that crickets are good luck. And he lives with the Plumber family, Caleb, who is a toy maker, and his daughter, Bertha. And one day, Bertha says goodbye to her fiancé, Edward, who's about to get shipped off to sea for two years. So about a year and a half into his deployment, she gets news that, that Edward was lost at sea. And it shocks her so much, she goes blind. No, I'm not kidding. That happened. She went blind. And Caleb tries to figure out why she went blind to the case where it bankrupts him and they have to move out. Then she, he moves into a toy factory played by Mr. Tackleton, who runs the factory and will let Caleb work there but can't pay him, but will let him stay. And he has a crow on his head. A literal crow. Isn't that cool? You know what? Let me know. Should I get a crow? Comment below. Let me know. Should I have a crow? Um. So while they're living there, Caleb basically lies to his daughter, because, well, she can't see, that they're living in a fabulous house. And then later on, Tackleton, we find out he has ulterior motives to marry Bertha. And, and, there's more, but I'm not going to spoil it. Um, okay, um, I'll be honest, this is not the most memorable special, like, I think this is a special like only five people have heard of. Like I said, I didn't really even heard of this until I was looking at a list of specials to review. The characters, um, it, are fine. Cricket, I think, is probably the best character. He's just so much fun. And with his Cockney accent, he's just so enjoyable. He say words like blimey. He's just, every time he's the focus of the scene, he's just so entertaining. Um, Caleb, the father, is okay. He's, you know, the typical loving dad who wants what's best for... His daughter. His daughter is, I'll be honest, she's kind of bland. Kind of really nothing exciting. Um, Mr. Tappleton isn't really the most exciting of villains. Like, he gets a good line every now and then, especially with the crow. But, you know, we don't know. Why does he want to marry the daughter? Like, there's no, like, Caleb barely, barely has any money. Is there a reason? Like, it just doesn't have, it, they just never explain. Um, and no reason isn't even given. Um, he's just your typical money grubbing boss. The songs, this has ten songs in it, and to be honest, only three of them really stood out to me. The opening song called Cricket on the Hearth, which was stuck in my head, explaining about what the, who the cricket is and he can cause good luck. The second one was a song called The First Christmas, when Caleb is, not, is telling his blind daughter that Christmas wasn't always big and extravagant like she wants it. And this song called Fish and Chips, in which the crow is trying to get his friends to basically kill the cricket. They're at base, I kid you not, a strip club for animals. Yeah, a strip club for animals. And the song, Fish and Chips, is actually kind of fun. It's actually a fun song, but those were the only three songs that 
stood out to me. All the other seven were bland and just forgettable. I think that's like the best way to describe this special is forgettable. Well, one thing I forgot to mention, the animation, it's hand-drawn and you can tell it's just a little glitchy. But, you know, it was a different time back then. But overall, this it's good in some parts. But overall, I think this special is just not that memorable. Like, I don't think it's bad. Like I said, the cricket's fun. Some of the songs are okay. Caleb's fine. But overall, it's not something I'd go out of my way to watch for Christmas every year. And maybe I'm being a little biased because I didn't grow up with this special. But to be honest, I don't think there's many people who really grew up with this special. I, again, I haven't even heard of this one until I was looking at the, um, whatchamacallit, until I was looking at the list of specials. So... I don't know, we're, if, maybe some people did grow up with it. If you like it, fine, like it. But, you know, again, not horrible. You could tell they put some effort in, but not enough. So I'm going to give Cricket on the Hearth a D. While not awful, okay, I'm on the border between a D and a C. Because, though not awful, it's just not that memorable. And... Nah, I didn't hate it, but it just didn't really stand out to me. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a D. Thank you, guys. And did you see Cricket on the Hearth? Shoot me a comment down below. And again, if there's a Christmas special you want me to review, it doesn't have to be Rankin Bass. It could be anything. Please let me know. I'll check it out. I'll watch it. I'll, re I'll review it for you. Promise. Well, okay, that's my review, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.